um, continue building on, just putting a bunch of yards and, and points on the scoreboard. I thought we were pretty efficient on first down and we made plays when they needed to be made. There was definitely some mistakes that I made on second down, um, but we were able to respond on third down in a lot of the situations. So just continue to respond in tough situations, uh, especially if we put ourselves in those situations. So, you know, we're not going to play a perfect game, but when we make those mistakes, just being able to bounce back and really just execute on third downs. Yeah, how big was Kobe Jack in that first half to help get the passing game going on the way? Yeah, he just had a, a great first drive, really. He got us going. I think he had like 60 yards maybe on the first drive alone. He caught that one over route and then a couple other, you know, short dink and dunk kind of passes. So he just was able to kind of elevate our offense and then he kind of died down uh, as the game progressed and we got Rock and Demir and some other people going and the run game as well. So I feel like it was a good job just kind of mixing both the run and the pass, which is what we've always done in Memphis, trying to be balanced and attack the defense in a variety of ways. Um, but he was he played well for us and we expect big things going forward. Let's talk about the run game. Have you ever played with a passionate back like Mario? It seemed like every time he touches the ball and gets up, he's like fired. Like he doesn't need like any motivation from anybody else. Yeah, he's definitely fiery, a fiery competitor. And he's great having on our team. I actually had played with a running back like him. Back in high school, I had a running back, Imani Bailey, one of my guys. Um, he went to TCU. And just having an emotional, you know, someone who cares a lot about the game and expects themselves to be great and expects the offense to be great, that's a good person to have on your offense. Just they definitely try and hold people accountable and hold themselves accountable, you know, to being great. And that just elevates our whole team and our whole offense. How impressed have you been with what Mara is now doing on the field this year for you guys? Yeah, I'm really impressed. Just him stepping up, really, as well. Just We had Sutton go down and uh, Greg DeRosier, and we kind of expected the, all three of them to be rotating in on the offense. So he's had to definitely carry the load, and, and Brandon's had to step up as well. But really, his hands have been great the whole year as well. That adds a, another element to his game. Same with Brandon. So they, they've played great, our running back room, throughout the, the stretch of the last couple of games. So well, we expect them to continue doing that going forward. Just seven games in, how do you feel the offensive line has kind of come together at this point in the season? Um, I think they've been doing a good job. Obviously, it's not perfect. And I have I took a sack last week that I shouldn't have taken. So there's things I need to do better to get ourselves in better situations. But last week, obviously, we made a little bit of a change and put uh, Malachi in there and, and sub key drill out for a week. So I thought we're still kind of gelling. We're still working every single week to figure out the best version of our offensive line. But week in and week out, we've only taken like one sack a game or like 1.2 sacks a game, which I think is, is good. Um, we'll take that any, at any level. So they've been playing, they've been playing well, in my opinion. What have you seen from Malachi just in terms of his development since he's been starting? Yeah. I mean, he's only it's only his second year here, and he's he's looks great. He's a, he's a physical specimen, and he he's going to be a cornerstone of the program going forward in the future, in my opinion, especially for the offensive line. So he's playing he's playing well right now. He played well in practice, and that earned him the right to you know have a chance to play on Saturdays with the starters. So just continuing to push him along and and, and lead him and our coaching staff to push him to try and maximize his capability because the sky's the limit for him. Um, so just got to play well on Saturdays, though. How much confidence do you guys take as an offense after last week, seeing that you, you, know, you had the explosive play, you were able to score both on the ground and you know. Yeah, I feel like it was a confidence booster, but it was one of the worst graded games that I've had, actually, which kind of surprised me going in and watching the film on Sunday. So there's, there's more things that we need to improve on and that we need to execute better. Um, and, that, and that's the thing that, you know, makes you love football is even when you supposedly play well and put a lot of points on the board and you have a good game against a good opponent, there's still, there's still more to be done. There's still more work uh, to accomplish. And we still have five, six, seven, however many games we get to play left to, to do those things and, and to perform at a high level and, and win football games. So still a lot of fun to be had, a lot of, you know, getting better every single day, even at practice and then trying to prove that on Saturdays. So still more to 
prove and, and more to show. A couple of shootouts already this year, obviously the Charlotte game last year was a shootout. Do, as a quarterback, do you enjoy those type of games, the, the back and forth, or would you just prefer to just, you know, throw folks out of your offense and you be humming your defense? Humming well? um, I'm kind of whatever it takes to win the game. Obviously, it, in a shootout, there's probably more passing yards involved just because going into the fourth, you're not kind of grinding that clock. You're taking shots and still playing full, complete offense, whereas you're kind of playing against the clock in a, in a dominating win. But I'll take whatever win I can get. Um, at the end of the day, it's all about winning. That's all that matters for me. So. Yeah, they're talented all over the defense. I think their D-line is probably their main source of uh, their, their best unit, in my opinion. I think their linebackers are good as well. Uh, and then obviously, number one is a returning corner. And he was a preseason all, all AAC guy. And I think the other corner is good as well. So, I mean, they're talented all around. They haven't allowed that many points against all of their opponents that they've played um, besides uh, Indiana. So they're a good defense, and we have to prepare and have the right mindset going into the game. It's going to be a physical game. Uh, four down, they got some big tackles, you know, 300 pounders. They have like four of those guys that they're rotating at the tackle spot. So uh, it's going to be a physical game, and we're prepared. Thanks, sir. Thank you, guys.